Hello everybody, it's Mr. G from Beyond Kung Fu. I will be working on and presenting arm strikes. Palm strike. Watch from the front. From the side. Hitting with the heel of the palm. Again, heel of the palm, not your palm. Bridge, strike. Bridge, strike. Bridge, strike. Similar to a horizontal strike, never full extension, always a slight bend in your arm. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure fingers are closed, tuck your thumb in. If you can get it to the side, get it to the side but always aiming with the heel of the palm. Let's talk about guards. A guard is an obstacle. A guard is designed to protect a specific sector of your body. You've got your upper section, your middle section, and your lower section. So a guard is designed to create an obstacle for your opponent to go around, to cover, to protect. So let's look at snake guard from the front, from the side. The basics, hooking block, done with a knife in it. Actually, finished position of a vertical strike with an open hand. The lower hand is a high block done low with a ridge hand. So you're focusing on the push with the thumb. When you roll your hands, you want to stay in the center of the body. It, this is a middle gate guard, so it doesn't go above your chin. It's actually shoulder height. Coming in, stop. Pretend you are spinning a shield. I like to think I have a pane of glass, very thin pane of glass between my hands. As I come down, the minute I don't have enough flexibility to keep this hand straight. I turn it over and I push forward with my thumb. Roll, stop. Roll, stop. Backhand strike from the front, from the side. We start in diamond guard. Elbows are out, fists tight. First two knuckles facing each other in front of your belly button, a few inches in front of your belly button. Not like this, not like this. Standing strong. Lift your elbow up, extend. Bring it back to your shoulder and back down. The first thing you do in a backhand strike is look. Up, extend, back, down, hitting with the back of the first two knuckles. This must be tight. Do not make this mistake, please. You're not looking for a ton of power. You're looking for snap. This is a stun. Strike, bring it back. Another middle gate guard, crane guard from the front, from the side. Again, basics, hooking block, done with a crane hand. So you roll your fingers in, touch the first one, perhaps the second one. Some people like to do a hook hand like this. The bottom hand, bridge, hooking block, finish position. Belt height, like a palm block, done low. Left hand, bridge, low block with a knife hand. Upper arm stays still. Lift up your forearm like you're picking up a tissue. So from the side, pushing down on the marshmallow. Push and lift. Open, push. Open, push and lift. 
from the front. Bridge, position, bridge, position, and stick it at the end, solid. Tiger guard, this is another middle gate guard. Hand position, open up your hands, curl the tips of your fingers in slightly so if you had claws sticking out, your claws would stick out from the front of your hand. Bring, pull the muscles, pull your hand back so you can feel the flex in your forearm. The back of your hands, you should be able to see the tendons and the muscles flexing. Really focus on the heel of the hand, top and bottom from the front. Again. From the side. This is a difficult guard because your hands are going in opposite directions with different timing, so pay very close attention to what we're working on. Left hand comes up close to your body, hand is flat, the bridge position for the left hand, your forearm is tucked tightly into your bicep, the heel of the palm is facing the ceiling, almost like a shot put position, from here, press across, in line with your opposite shoulder, out at a 45 degree angle, right hand is on the outside of the left hand, you're coming down, so you come across the top of your shoulders, down, curl, you're in a chamber position with a tiger hand, so heel of the palm is facing forward. Bridge position is here. The finish position for the right hand is a high block, done low, tiger hand, heel of the palm, forced down. From the front again. Practice slowly. Up, turn, press. In front, down. Curl, push down. Let's move on to vertical strike. Watch. Inside. Pay very close attention to the hand position. The upper arm is out on a 45 degree angle. Up, directly aligned with your body. Not back, not forward, right out to the side. Your upper arm, so your, your forearm, tucks right in as tight as it can. Hand position. The pinky side of your hand is facing the ceiling. The thumb is parallel to the floor. Focusing with the first two knuckles, tuck it right in as tight as you can beside your cheek. Okay, extend, rotate. Full extension, slight bend, hand has rotated so thumb is now facing up. Recoil, back to hooking block position, 90 degrees here. In line with your shoulder, shoulder height, top of your hand is parallel to the floor. Pretend you have a candle that's lit. If your hand comes back, what happens to the wax? It comes down your arm. If you can get further, it'll roll, the, the wax will come down on the front of your fingers. So, bridge, strike, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chamber position, same as always. 